So in this video, I'm going to talk about Fisher projections. And so a Fisher projection is essentially a different way to draw out a picture of a molecule. And so it's essentially a flattened, a flattened picture of a molecule. And so, let me show you a picture. So it's not a very high quality picture, but it gets a point across. So essentially, what's happening is you're looking from over here. The person is looking this way in between and the C and D, right? So a molecule that looks like this, A, B, C, D, that's a C. Will look pretty similar to this if you're looking at it from where that person's looking at it. And so, as you can see, the horizontal lines, C and D, are pointed at you, while A and B is pointed away from you. And so, a Fisher projection in the end this molecule if you're looking at it pretend this is an eye looking at it from down there you're gonna get a Fisher projection that looks like this A B C D and so what does that mean well essentially what it is is the vertical bonds vertical bonds are pointing away from you and horizontal bonds horizontal bonds are pointing at you and so as you can imagine you're going to use Fisher projections to determine whether a molecule is R or S, um, whether a carbon is R or S, that is, if it's chiral. And so there are a little, a couple of rules. So you can't really adjust the um, Fisher projection on paper, but one thing you can do is you can turn it 180 degrees in the plane of the paper and that's all you can do so for example if you have something like this A B C D you could turn it 180 degrees so that it's B A D C and that would be the same molecule so those are the same However, you can't turn everything 90 degrees clockwise or whatever. So you can't have A, um, D, C, B. That would not work. That would not be the same molecule. That would actually be the enantiomer. And so let's do a couple of practice problems, right? So let's look at a molecule like this I want to draw it out so we have a molecule like this and so let's say you have the eye here person is looking at it from right on that point and so as you can imagine the H is going to be on the right if you're looking at it from there the H is going to be on the right the CH2, CH3 will be on the left. And then going up is a CH2OH. And going down is a CH3. And so if we wanted to determine the configuration of this, we would number it. So this gets number one priority. This gets two. This gets three. And so you would think that it's going K 
counterclockwise. However, since the H, which is number 4, is pointing at you, remember horizontal bonds is pointing at you, you would inverse that. And so this configuration right there, that would be clockwise, which would be R. And so people don't really use Fisher projections all that often. It's just another way to draw out a molecule. Um, but it's still important to know in case some people use it, you want to know what's going on. And so that pretty much sums it up for Fisher projections and what they are. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please like it and uh, share it with your friends.